Welcome to BizTech's Asia's hottest startup show. Now, we're going to be featuring hot companies across Asia, sharing their entrepreneurial journeys and sharing with us the journey towards becoming Asia's next tech unicorns. Now, today we feature the unicorn Acronis. Now, Acronis provides award-winning backup software and data protection solutions for consumers, businesses, and managed service providers and they're based and founded out of Singapore. Now, our guest today is Pasha Urshel. He's the Senior Vice President, Asia Pacific, Japan, Middle East and Africa for Acronis. Now, welcome to the show, Pasha. Oh, thank you, Brian. Pasha, you've got a very, very big portfolio. Give us an overview of what Acronis does and the history of the company so far. Well, uh, you mentioned that Acronis is um, a company that uh, has solutions in backup uh, and data protection. That's partially correct. And uh, I would like to uh, add that, that Acronis nowadays is a cyber protection company. And okay. what we put into this uh, term cyber protection is actually uh, what customers and partners need now the most. because. Of course, you have cybersecurity solutions, right, that prevent attacks, for example. Yes. But that's not enough to stay protected. We believe that only convergence of data protection and cybersecurity can provide true protection nowadays. That's why uh, we came up uh, uh, several years ago with this concept of cyber protection. We were pioneers of that. Uh, there are some companies that follow us uh, uh, right now, are also trying to offer cyber protection, uh, but um, from the integration perspective, from, from having kind of years of development uh, and engineering work invested into the product, Acronis is a clear uh, leader of that uh, segment because we were basically the first. Okay, now uh, you have an interesting uh, model in terms of your base. Your founder is a Singaporean citizen of Soviet descent and your bases are in Singapore and Switzerland as well. Can I walk us through how that structure works for you? Yeah, so we uh, indeed do have uh, a dual headquarters and uh, they are based in Singapore where I am now. Uh, it's called uh, International Headquarter uh, of Acronis. And we also have a uh, headquarter in Schaffhausen, uh, Switzerland uh, and, uh, as, as a corporate headquarter. So the whole concept is all about protection. Having two headquarters is better than one headquarter, right? So okay. it's, uh, it's like uh, having a redundancy uh, in our management capabilities. But also it's important that Singapore and Switzerland, these are two countries that are neutral. These are two countries that are prosperous. These are two countries that help us to attract the best talent. And that's what we believe is required to provide the best cyber protection to our partners and our customers. So that's as uh, simple as that. It, of course, may sound strange, but indeed we do have two headquarters and that's for the reason. Okay, walk us through some of your main products and services. We uh, have a key product, which is CyberProtect. CyberProtect uh, is uh, one solution uh, specifically created and specifically tailored for service providers. That can be managed service providers, that can be uh, hosting service providers, uh, that can be um, cloud service providers, I and mean, different companies that provide services around cyber protection. And now if we look inside this, um, uh, this platform, uh, it's, we have, of course, backup, traditional backup, something which was born with Acronius in 2003, uh, evolved significantly since then. We have disaster recovery solutions there. We have cybersecurity, endpoint protection, uh, uh, malware uh, detection and prevention, ransomware protection. All those uh, kind of news you hear about bad guys doing something uh, towards businesses uh, and people in the world, that's being uh, addressed by uh, our cyber protect. Uh, in, in multiple ways. And, but it's still one product that is used uh, on a, let's say, computer or server or virtual machine. It's still one product that does everything. 
And who are your key customers uh, and which sectors are normally the key adopters of your solution? We focus on uh, working with uh, service providers. As I said, many of them provide managed service to SMBs and to enterprise customers, right? Uh, so uh, as they do, do that, they need a simple and very cost efficient tool to manage IT infrastructures for uh, their customers. They are, they are our key partners and uh, we basically go to market uh, through that. Acronis, of course, has a lot of uh, uh, big names customers. So uh, out of uh, you know, Fortune 500, maybe most of, of, of those um, are our customers in some ways. Uh, we still uh, have uh, products that can be used on premise, but that's definitely not our focus. Our focus is cloud service and full cyber protection. Now, you're, obviously, R&D is a big part of your business, uh, but you've split your R&D team across development centers from in Bulgaria, Israel, Singapore, as well as Switzerland and the United States. What was the reason and the thinking behind the distribution of your R&D? Well, first of all, uh, competition for talent in R&D is global, right? You can't, you can't be successful if you think, okay, my R&D center is here, like in Singapore only. Singapore is a great place uh, to have R&D center, a lot of talent, a lot of support from government, a lot of great stuff uh, which is happening here uh, with education system. But still, any high tech company having a, a big ambition, like being a unicorn and growing even further, uh, has to attract talent from over the world. Over the world. So basically, the choice of every R&D center location, starting from Bulgaria, a very very good place of, in Eastern Europe for um, for talent, specifically in IT. Many companies are investing there, and Acronis is uh, not uh, not an exception. Israel, I guess nobody needs to explain why Israel is a great place for, for talent. U.S. for sure, right? Uh, uh, we have our, our biggest office in U.S. in Arizona, a very dynamic, uh, dynamic uh, uh, state and place. So it's all about uh, getting the right uh, talent on board, uh, regardless of uh, where they are. And uh, we believe that uh, this strategy pays off very well uh, in terms of quality of product and uh, quality of innovation Acronis uh, managed to, uh, to deliver on the market. Now, Pasha, you've taken a, a, a route towards sports sponsorship as a way to grow and showcase your products and services. Now, you've got partnerships with everything from Manchester City and also the Williams Formula One team. Could you share uh, some insights into how you're leveraging Formula One sponsorship with Williams, for example? Um, as part of your overall strategy? Yeah, well, actually, uh, we have more than 50 sports partners, right? And we call them partners because it's not like Acronis being a sponsor and uh, putting our logo on, um, um, on um, jerseys or um, uh, on a sports car. It's really partnership when Acronis provide technology to protect the environment uh, of a particular sports team. And nowadays with the whole digital transformation going on in sports, all sports are very, let's say, tech heavy enterprises, right? If, yes. uh, of course, probably Formula One, and that was the first uh, sports partnership, uh, partnerships we did, is extremely high tech, right? Uh, kind of amount of data to protect is huge and it's been generated with every lap sports car is doing. And we are, for example, with Williams, uh, we have a great partnership. They uh, use our software to protect the environment, uh, right? And uh, they are very successful with, uh, with that. Also with um, different sports teams, we do not only our mainstream, which is cyber protection, but also uh, a very innovative um, uh, technologies around uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning when we help different teams, for example, Inter Milano, uh, to analyze um, games, right? And to, uh, to have uh, some AI driven uh, advice to coaches and to, to team how to improve, uh, improve their play, right? Uh, and 
this is very these are very interesting projects that are also doing that helps us uh, to be able to deliver kind of more innovative AI solutions in our technologies as well. Now so, that's very very interesting. It, it is it is it is very interesting because uh, eventually uh, us being a cyber protection company we also help uh, sportsmen to perform better, right? It's, 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 it's a great uh, combination. And we are very happy with these uh, partnerships. And now uh, we are opening these partnerships that we have with sports teams, as I said, with more than 50 sports teams, we are opening it to our service provider partners, right? And uh, we have an initiative uh, which is called Team Up uh, with Acronis. And basically together with our partners, we. Uh, leverage uh, these um, sports uh, sports activities in a better way, and that's why we have this tagline of being cyber fit. Because you need to be fit physically, yes, but you also need to be fit in cyberspace. You need to be fit and uh, be prepared for uh, whatever nasty things can happen, and that's what Acronis does. So, what's it really interesting, Pasha? Is this, which is why I I, I, I commented on that. Not only are you leveraging and showcasing your technology, the your 50 sports plus sports teams are your literally your little R&D labs, which then have a feedback loop to your six labs around the world. Absolutely, yeah, uh, because the the way how they use technology is quite sophisticated, and that helps us to uh, to basically learn more and uh, deliver this innovation uh, to our product. Now. You have a lot of competition in, in, in this space with the likes of Veritas, which is VMware, Barracuda, but you've been, obviously been very successful. What's been the secret sauce when you go out and compete against these big boys? Well, of course, uh, uh, cybersecurity space, uh, uh, cyber protection space is very crowded. Uh, absolutely. There are a lot of great companies delivering great solutions. No, no doubt. What we focus on and we try to excel in that and uh, basically we believe we're best in that so first is a unique value proposition of integrated one solution so it's not like you have different solutions for security backup and disaster recovery and then you somehow use them together but we created our cyber protect ground up right as one solution and this is this is a, a big uh, a big competitive advantage for us. Second is our go-to-market strategy. We want to be and we are now the best partner to service providers. Okay. We help we help our partners to do more business and provide cyber protection services to their end customers. We enable them. We give them technology. We give them trainings. We give them um, kind of partner uh, success uh, management uh, and. Um, Eventually, they are more successful with us and we are more successful with our partner network. These are key differentiators that help us uh, to uh, grow our success and uh, outgrow competition. Now, you talked about your go-to-market strategy, uh, which is a very partner-focused. After all, you only have two offices in APAC, Japan and Singapore, if I'm uh, correct. What... How, how is your strategy different in the Middle East and Africa? Uh, it's the same. Uh, we also have only two offices there in um, South Africa and uh, United Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and yes, indeed, our go-to-market is through partners. So in every country, we are looking for uh, a good uh, partner in distribution space for us, uh, maybe several partners if uh, market size um, uh, market size supports that. And then uh, we, uh, again, invest into that partnership. We enable uh, that partnership in terms of trainings, in terms of marketing, in terms of technical integration, because it's important that um, in, in modern world, uh, sales should be done automatically in a second, right? Yes. So um, if, uh, if, if they do provide our service, it should be fully automated. And we invest a lot into building those integrations with partners around the world and uh, in, uh, uh, of course, in APJ uh, and Middle East and Africa, of course. Now, now, how is the sales split like in terms of global sales, uh, APJ, uh, Middle East, Africa? Uh, so, Africa. Uh, 
so we have uh, uh, more than 20% uh, uh, of our business in, uh, in Asia and it's growing fast. And we believe that uh, uh, Asia is our key opportunity for growth because Acronis has very well-established presence and good market share in markets like uh, Germany, Switzerland, Japan, um, uh, United States, uh, United Kingdom, of course. From the growth perspective, uh, we're growing everywhere, but our potential uh, in uh, markets like Southeast Asia, East Asia, and um, kind of in general in Asia is immense. And uh, that's where we focus also kind of a number of our investments um, uh, to anticipate that growth. Now, speaking of investments, you've just raised 250 million US dollars on a valuation of 2.5 billion. How will that capital be deployed? Uh, two main areas uh, of investment. Uh, uh, that's, of course, a, a very important milestone uh, for, for the company that will allow to accelerate our growth even further. So first, of course, we will continue to um, uh, invest into R&D and to grow our investment into R&D. Our plan is to uh, grow our R&D center here in Singapore two times, right, compared to what we have now. Uh, we also uh, will continue to invest into R&D centers in Israel, in Bulgaria. Uh, maybe through acquisitions, we will get some new locations and attract new talent. That's, of course, primary area of investment. Second area of investment is to invest into our partners, in, invest into our channel. And that's starting from the technology that they can leverage uh, to integrate with Acronis Solutions and being able to deliver that in a most cost-effective way. Then enablement, marketing, uh, partner management, all of that uh, will get a lot of uh, investments now and e eventually will be able to scale our partner network uh, even bigger. Recently, we have announced our new partner program that will give, well, that is giving um, uh, a lot of benefits to our partners. And that's also um, a, an area of our increased investment after this round. Now, uh, Pasha, in terms of um, uh, mergers and acquisitions, because you have a war chest now, are there any specific areas that you're looking at in terms of making acquisitions? Uh, we're looking uh, at different ways to kind of develop and advance our technologies. So, of course, uh, as, as um, you understand, we invest a lot into our own R&D, right? And uh, a lot of technologies are, are, being, are being developed uh, in-house. But as well, we're looking at acquisitions in the areas uh, where we believe that will uh, give benefit to our partners and customers. So uh, security uh, and different, different areas of full cyber protection uh, are definitely areas where we're looking for, uh, for M&As and we'll continue doing that. Now, Pasha, final question. Um, you've been around for many, many years in, in, in business and, and in execution. What are key lessons that you can share with companies who are basically looking to expand in the Asia Pacific region? Well, um, I, would, I would start with uh, um, kind of the first learning uh, uh, that uh, when I moved to, uh, to Asia, uh, I learned it very fast, like during my first week. There is no such market like Asia Pacific. There is Singapore, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Australia, uh, Japan, Korea, these are all, all different markets. And uh, you can't do successful business here just thinking that, okay, we have a presence in Asia Pacific, uh, in APJ region, and uh, that's it. Uh, you need to have a very tailored and kind of well thought through go-to-market strategies in each individual country. You need to look for um, unique partnerships in these countries, in all of them. And with that, uh, you, uh, you will have chance to uh, kind of be successful in this uh, great, diverse, and very dynamic region. Now, any final thoughts you'd like to share with our audience? Well, I would say, first of all, stay safe, not only uh, in physical world, but also in uh, cyber world. Kind of the threats of uh, cyber criminals and kind of different bad actors there is uh, extremely high. And of course, that's a big challenge for IT industry in general. And uh, in Acronis, we are proud that uh, we uh, 
invest so much into uh, this area and that we help our partners and um, customers to stay protected. Uh, and that's our mission and uh, we are going to continue um, uh, doing that. So stay safe. Now, Pasha, thank you very much for taking your time to be on the show. Thank you, Brian. It was a pleasure. Now, we've been speaking to Pasha Ershaw, who is the Senior Vice President at Acronis Group on BizTex, Asia's hottest startup show. I'm Brian Fernandez. This video will be on our Facebook and LinkedIn sites, as well as our website, www.biztech.asia. Please subscribe and like our various platforms. Thank you very much for tuning in.